Well, ladies and gentlemen, at round number five, the way the points are now, Eli Tomac has 242. Marvin Muskin, 210, and Justin Barsha, 184. The top three in points are the top three in the press conference, and that's, uh, that's pretty solid work. Uh, first question for Justin Barsha. Uh, Justin, I know that uh, you've been working extremely hard, and it seems like not only are you back, but uh, you're getting stronger each and every week. Yeah, for sure. I'm uh, really happy. It was a good day. Um, just getting the more comfortable with the bike each weekend. Been uh, like we're really close. Like I said, every weekend we're really close. But it's like we're just taking you know steps to get more comfortable, and uh, also my riding as well as getting better, and you know just trying to put everything together. But today was definitely a step, another step in the right direction. I had a had a lot of fun. That second moto was was tough. That track was uh, difficult, really difficult. Next question I'd like to have for Eli Tomac. Obviously, Moto One went uh, kind of to script. Moto Two quite a bit different. Take us through what was going through your mind early in that race, and then at the later stages when you knew maybe that a third was as good as it was going to get. Yeah, I was just playing catch up. You know, that's all I could do. Um, was buried on the start there. Um, that's just that's just the way it was, and I was just too far back to you know to get in touch with the the two guys up front. So um, you know, it was just eating a lot of roost and um, that was about it really and just trying to get to third I, you know I, I saw you know Marvin and, and Justin I knew which way the points were going to fall so once I got to third it was like you know it was it, plus it was too late anyway and Justin was going real fast but this settled at that point and uh, that was that. Marvin Muskin Moto 1 was not very typical for you was it? Oh, well, I mean, when you crash in the first lap it doesn't help and uh, made it really difficult on me and uh, yeah, I, I clipped someone's uh, uh, back wheel in the first uh, first lap. So um, yeah, I mean, uh, from from that, you know, I just try my best to uh, to come back and um, and you know, when you have uh, the top uh, top four or five uh, guys out on, up on the front, it's it's really hard to to get better than than a fifth. That's what I got, and uh, I caught uh, Blake Baggett on the last lap, but it was uh, it was not enough. Uh, so very frustrating to uh, be in this position, but yeah, that's racing, and that's all. Um, I gave my best, and uh, all I could do uh, second moto is to get a good, a better start, and stay on two wheels, and that's what happened. And uh, be patient, and got around Roxon, and then and then got around uh, Justin, and and yeah, I was able to control uh, the race um, towards the end, and yeah, that's awesome. It's uh, it's a good feeling, and was good enough for at least a podium. That's, uh, that's all I could, I could do today. I can open up now to questions from the media. Hey, Marvin, when you go down in the first, or in the first lap like that, do, does, does it cause you to be really nervous, or are you confident? You know, I, this is just another day, and I can cut through the pack quickly. Well, like I said, you know, uh, when the top guys, uh, the top four or five guys is, is out there, um, you know right now on the, t on the 450 field, um, it's not too hard for, for us like to, to come back like towards the top 10, but then towards the top five, it's uh, more difficult. So I knew if it would have been you know, patient, I could have come back to a decent, decent uh, place. But yeah, fifth, it's all, it's all I got. But obviously when you crash in the first lap and you see all the field going by you, it's, uh, it's it, it's tough. It's tough, but you got to deal with it and try your try your best, and that's all I did. How does he yell? To control that, hey. I'm Yeah, it's uh, it's easy to override a track like this, especially with my um, riding style. But that's like something I've been working on a lot. Try to be smoother, and the Yamaha has plenty of power. So, and it's like when you override it, it makes the chassis like you know tighter, kinda, and stuff. So, um, yeah, that's uh, yeah, like that second moto, I knew you know Eli was coming at the end, and I really needed to like throw down some good laps and like to push it to that limit, but still like not override it. it was uh, yeah, it's hard. It's like it takes a you know takes you know good rider to to sort this track out and like Marvin second moto was just like you know on rails and just like nailing his marks and stuff and that's you know what you got to do on a track like this like I, I feel like this track's kind of like an MXGP track a little bit like 
uh, slick underneath, the pretty like uh, you know brake bumps and chop from the throttle and stuff like that. So, but uh, it was a little one line today. It was the lappers were like awful, but besides for that, um, yeah, I think this place is great and I had a lot of fun and uh, keeping on working. Uh, Yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I had no idea when I came up if I was, wh whatever happened, but uh, yeah, I just was racing my own race and trying to do the best I could do with, uh, you know, where I was at and how fast I could ride. This question is for Eli. It works on this side of the room. Um, it seems like this year you have a couple laps when you really need it that you're able to pull out. You don't have to do it the whole moto, but we saw we saw it here. You were able to get to Roxton pretty quickly. Is that almost like a strategy, like... I'm not going to go to the edge, but if I need to, I got something? Or is that just something we're seeing happen, but that's not really what you're planning? Uh, I, I guess it's what I'm planning. You know, I just, if I want to make a little charge, I go out there and do it. But, uh, um, yeah, the, the first moto was good. Um, it was a good start and was able to make that pass, you know, and, and was patient about it, too. And then, uh, but, uh, you know, I wasn't able to do that in the second moto. You know, it was, these guys were too far gone. Yeah, so in the second moto, um, you were moving up somewhat, and then uh, Justin or even Roxanne in front of you. Went okay, I can see the lead group. Uh, yeah, like I, I got to that group, but it was they were they were still a little ways out front. So that was that was that. And did you know? Uh, you might have already answered this. Did you know overall when you got in the third? Did you know that you had yeah. that? Yeah, I did. But it, um, yeah, I was like that was. I knew I was, was good for that. Yeah. So at that point, did you back it down, or did you try to make a run? I made a little run for a lap or two, but then, you know, Justin turned, turned up the gas, too, and I wasn't, I wasn't having any of it. So I just, uh, you know, stayed in third. Hey, Eli, different times in the sports history, you've had guys like Carmichael on a roll, and you've What's it like that zone like you're at, in right now? It just, it's when everything's working, you know, and, and you're healthy, you know, you're, you're flowing good on your bike, um, you know, you feel good most of the conditions, and it just makes, you know, life easier. Um, so and we, we've got that going on with us right now, so it's good. I'm probably going to steal your final question. Uh, can you guys talk about Southwick a little bit? Now you've got to come up with something else. Talk about the racing in the sand next week, and this would be for all three of you. Yeah, for sure. I like Southwick. Uh, grew up uh, racing up there as a kid, and uh, it's a good place for me. I've always had really enjoyed racing there. I think I got my first win there ever, so it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting. I like to, you know, send it there. So Southwick's, um, you know, I, I love that place. You know, I, I wish we had more than one, one Sandy track a year, so I'm um, looking forward to it. Yeah, last year. Last year was actually pretty, pretty good until until I crashed in Southwick. But uh, no, the riding was good. So I'm looking forward to to that. And um, yeah, like you like said, you know, it's only one race in the in the in the sand like that. So uh, yeah, it would have been good, uh, like two or three more uh, races like that. But uh, the place in uh, in Florida that I train uh, there, it's it's pretty sandy. So we got a good uh, good training going on there. So uh, looking forward to that. Final question then, uh, we talked about it at the very first press conference we were all in this year, now we're closing in a midway point. Are you guys still interested in being on the Motocross of Nations team and representing it? You two are first and third in points right now, you'd be the top Americans. Well, it seems like I get asked this every week, but the answer is yes. <laughs> America. That's it. <laughs> and Marvin, would you represent the uh, country of France? Yeah, especially, you know, this year in, in, in the U.S., that will be nice. Uh, Redbud is definitely the place where you want to have uh, more across of nations. So uh, we'll see. You can also ask uh, Dylan right there for the 250. You got it. Good. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for your three uh, contributions today, not only on the track but here in the press conference, folks. Hope everybody makes the drive up to uh, Southwick, Massachusetts next week. Thanks for being part of the action today.